Yep. So um, in Bigger, Stronger, Faster, I had a, a huge uh, moral dilemma with um, using anabolics, mm -hmm. you know, um, jumping over the what they call the dark side or whatever, you know. Yeah. And I did it, uh, of course. And then, like, um, just wondering, as a professional bodybuilder, do you face that or is it just part of the sport? Do you just accept it or? So, man, I, you know, my perspective now is different than when I was a kid. Obviously, as a kid growing up in Canada, I knew nothing about it. I knew it was part of the sport. I knew nothing about it. And uh, I was very lucky to have some very good advisors, very young, that didn't fuck me up. Because I think that's a huge part for young kids is yeah. they get these idiots telling them what to do or they, mm. they learn from get big. And this is this is what Kai Greenstack is. And you're like, yeah. no, it's not, man. It's just some idiot on there telling you what he thinks it is. <laughs> and um, it's that gigantic list of drugs. Oh, right? It's ridiculous, yeah. right? And they're going to kill themselves. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I, you know, this is what I need to do to be because of Mr. Olympia. And like, no, you don't. You need to do the smallest incremental dose so you keep moving forward. Um, so obviously it's a part of bodybuilding, man. And um, the realization now is... I try to advise people at, at least for a, a long time to not do it. Like, let, let's learn. Let's learn how to actually train first, because most guys go, "Oh, if you want to be a bodybuilder, you just got to take this." It's so much more than that, man. Yeah. Like, it's. And I think the big difference between the '70s and '80s and now is it, 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 back then it was a training culture. Like, you trained hard. You trained twice a day. After you're done training, you're done training. What did you do? You went to the beach. You laid on the beach, which is meditation in itself. You you recovered. You connected with the earth. Now it's a drug based culture. So people think rather than having to train harder, I just take more drugs. And that's what's the difference in the physique now. It's like people are so attached to the dose and and you yeah, know, like. Well, trains? they think the drugs do everything and they right. don't really do much at all, really. Like when you really look at it, um, I think the biggest favor the world did to Mark and I was just keeping us off of steroids and mm -hmm. away from them until we were like in our, you know, late 20s and mm -hmm. early 30s and stuff. Because um, just being that young and diving into it, we would have it would have been detrimental to both of us. And right. So like looking back on, it, I go like, I'm glad I didn't try it when I was young, you know? Yeah. I didn't know enough about it. Yeah, I was very lucky, man. Like I said, to be uh, exposed to some bright people who, one, got me good things that were, you know, not real, yeah, <laughs> not yeah. crap. Uh, and I didn't need a lot. As soon as I touched it, I responded. So yeah. I, I didn't attach to like, oh, I need to take ridiculous amounts of everything. I, I think just, that's what a lot of people... Um, Th that's a big mistake a lot of people make too is just yeah. dumping a bunch of stuff on you know right. into your system Dude, and not knowing and how much you the need amount or, of toxins are in there like the, sh the heavy metal sh the people are killing themselves man and, and it's unfortunate and i think it's killing bodybuilding do you think people can be leaner uh without drugs versus with them i've seen some of the like uh you know they're, they're drug tested so i don't you know you don't know what the hell people are doing right but sometimes the uh drug tested athletes um oh, have, have like kind of a harder look like right. you know because uh taking testosterone and things like that can cause some bloating and some things of that nature so absolutely you know for those for, for people that are listening that just want to get like lean and get and get, get well, in good shape I'll, you can I'll accomplish you, a lot of these I'll tell things you my without. opinion on that is a, that's a great question too I, I understand your question now um, I think it's I advise every single person who wants to compete to compete natural first because as we just spoke about what, what do bodybuilders do to get in shape most bodybuilders don't want to train they don't want to diet they just take more shit yeah They're like I'm going to take clombuterol I'm going to take ephedrine I'm going to take those other things a drug based culture rather than like hey man I'm just going to fucking diet I'm just going to do some hard cardio I'm actually going to do some hard leg workouts to burn some fat Man, it's unfortunate, but that's the reality. You guys, you guys know that. Is it, like a lot of times, that's why I respect natural athletes so much. Is like these guys are put in the work, man. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard, man. It, it's hard to get in shape naturally. You're gonna suffer. Uh, so I suggest everybody do that at least once in their life and like learn how to learn how to diet, learn how to suffer. A couple pounds of muscle, is fucking brutal. Yeah, it's yeah, really it really is. It takes yeah. a lot of dedication. And that's where the six meals a day and the rest and the sleep and recovery and yeah. everything's going to be. I mean, it's always important, but it's going to even be that much more important. Yeah, and the inflammatory factor is obviously very different. And the growth hormones adds just a whole different dimension that people aren't aware of, is making people insulin resistant and making them look bigger than they are. So mm -hmm. everybody goes, "Oh man, I screwed up my last week before the contest. You know, I I lost fifteen pounds in the last three days." Well. No, you didn't screw up. You just actually lost the water that you're holding. So yeah. that's the problem. Most people, it's not actually dense muscle, right? It's just this, all this hyperemia from you know insulin and growth hormone and stuff. And oh, I screwed up my last week. You think people put way too much faith in uh, the idea of the drugs? Because like I'm saying, like a lot of people will look at somebody and they'll say like, oh, that guy. If, if I just took steroids all day and did this and that, <laughs> like I'd look like that too. Right. But like I actually 
have done that. Like I've actually had points in my life where um, I took a lot of steroids and trained what? like crazy, and and like I didn't look like those guys. Show, you know no. what I mean? So it's this like guy. I think that a lot of people. <laughs> Um, put well, it was like after I did bigger, stronger, faster, and I, I was like, Oh, it's okay to try to do this. And it took a bunch of stuff, and nothing really great happened. Dude, I felt know? that way about growth hormone. I, like, I, I just got injured. I didn't do it when I, until I was pro, and I was, and I was expecting, like, Oh, it's just gonna take me to this next level. That's what I was, <laughs> I was expecting. especially <laughs> about 10 years ago or so. People were talking about it like being such a crazy, crazy thing, and, I, and I've, I've used it before myself, and all I got was joint pain, right? <laughs> you know, my hands got numb, and my yeah. shit. Her, and so I got my like, bench oh, press back whatever. up to like um, yeah, well 455 for raw, mm -hmm. and then I blew out my shoulder so and my tricep, so it wasn't even, it wasn't worth it. And then not to give like some, you know, scary tale of like, oh, don't do it, you'll get hurt right. or anything, but it's just the, the plain truth of it was, it wasn't what it was sold to me as, right. that it was going to be like this awesome, you know, thing. I get on steroids all of a sudden now, like now I'm ripped and now I'm in great shape. It is so hard to get lean right. and in great shape with the amount of dieting I'm doing right. that there's no drug in the world that could even match what I'm trying to do right, right now. You know, I love this conversation too, because people need to realize one steroids aren't the solution to everything. But that being said, they are. I think a massive tool, a tool. Fantastic. For, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, especially for men over 35. On I mean, the flip like, side. Yeah. yeah, every man should, I, I really believe, should be living a great life, not just living. Like, you should be living a healthy, vigorous, rigorous life right, where you down feel smoky. fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> right, where you feel awesome, right? I, I don't want to live to 100 and feel like shit and have no sex drive. Like, I want to live to whatever, and every one of those years is excellent, and I feel like a million bucks. A boner so, every day. Yeah, yeah I, think it's a, I think it's an awesome tool, um, but people shouldn't be afraid of it, nor should they think it's the holy grail that's going to get you everywhere you want to go at the end of the day like anything there's no shortcuts man and i, in business I think that's life. true with like our diet too like we we want to you know like I, i'm on this uh ketogenic diet and it's working great for me but like it doesn't mean it's gonna fit everybody and doesn't mean it's gonna um be the answer for everything in my right. life like i still have pain and inflammation in my body right we haven't completely gotten rid of everything yet so it's mm -hmm. we, we keep going until we find and, and, you know i talk about things, this all the yeah. time is people attach to one particular diet but man I'm a vegan or I'm a, I do if it fits your macros or keto like man like it, it may work for you for a short period of time and you may have to change it yeah. so you just gotta watch you have to observe I'm a it. person that eats food is what I am now yeah. like that's what I look at it as and I'm I not love doing keto. the same thing forever right dude I love <laughs> keto it makes my brain feel great but definitively my performance goes to shit and I get fat every single time maybe my maybe my ratios aren't right you could, you could argue whatever yeah. it is but that's just my observation I feel mentally on point I feel amazing but my, I can't train my performance goes to shit